When your goal is to win, what will you do? The North Carolina Chief Justice race offers us some answers. I've been talking for years about the conservative approach to elections versus the liberal approach. It's a lesson I learned from big-time Democrat strategist Ted Trimpa. He told a TV audience that when conservatives go into an election, they want to be right. His side, the liberal side, they want to win. So how does this apply to the Supreme Court's top race? Remember, Democrat Chief Justice Sherry Beasley had a lot of advantages. Incumbency, way more money for political ads, an election process run by Democrats, and a state lawsuit settlement favoring Democrats. But Beasley lost. She was 3,700 votes behind Republican Paul Newby on election night. More than a week later, after more Democrat-leaning votes had been added, Newby still led by roughly 400 votes. He won. But Beasley didn't concede. Instead, she called for a recount, and that's fine. State law gives her that right. But the Beasley team also announced it would try to make up the 400-vote difference. How? By finding Democrat votes among those rejected by local elections boards. The main target? Provisional ballots. Those are ballots cast mainly by people who show up at the wrong polling place. Beasley filed protests in 90 of North Carolina's 100 counties. She wants the Democrat-controlled State Elections Board to reinstate 2,000 rejected ballots. Almost all of those ballots were cast by Democrats. Of the 2,000, only five are known to be Republican ballots. Here's the problem for Team Beasley. Local elections boards run by Democrats tossed out more Republican provisional ballots than Democrat ballots. Elections officials rejected roughly 30% of Democrat and unaffiliated provisional ballots while tossing nearly 40% of Republican provisionals. Let me be clear. Every legal vote should count. If so, Paul Newby wins. Beasley can win only if Democrat election officials choose to add more votes cast for her while rejecting Republican votes cast under the same conditions. So I ask again, when your goal is to win, what will you do? Now, if you have feedback for me, email me at therightaoc at johnlock.org. For information and news you won't get anywhere else, visit johnlock.org and carolinajournal.com. And while you're there, please consider an investment in freedom so we can continue to bring you the information you need to make wise public policy decisions. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay informed.